women supporting women. Tiffany Amber. You like it? I love it. What is my next outfit? Every time I'm in Africa, I get inspired. I mean, everyone that comes to Africa gets inspired. But every day when I'm in Africa, there's something that always catches my eye. And I'm not the first person in fashion to be inspired by this great continent and what it has to offer. I mean, you've got Alexander McQueen, Pierre Paolo, and the great Yves Saint Laurent himself. And I've been really blessed to have worked with all three. Today I'm in Lagos, and I'm learning too about the real roots of African style. And I can't wait to show you my day as it unfolds. Cause you never know what happens when you're watching Via Naomi. <laughs> Anything could happen. So let's go. We are here at Alara and we're going to be in a world of magic and colors. Come on. I come here all the time. This is the first concept store on the whole continent. Back up. And owned by Granny Vallejo. And it was architecture done by Sir David Ajay. So come on. Let's go look at all these little gems. Yeah. You cannot be in Lagos and not see Red and not come here. It's a total experience. And you're going to enjoy this experience with us today. Yes, so Alara is a contemporary African design concept. Uh, we aim to celebrate and elevate all things African from art, fashion, design, food. Just celebrate the creativity that we know um, Africa has and elevate it. And also put it in context with the rest of the world. So as you walk through the space, Beautiful. every single piece is for sale. Every single piece is by a designer. Oh. <laughs> Stunning. How many tribes do you have? In, in Nigeria alone, 250 something, almost 300 tribes. Generally speaking, each tribe has something that is common to each and, each and every one of them. Uh -huh. But you might have some variations and some similarities of people within a tribe. When you're within those tribes and within the regions, you understand the little subtle differences that exist. There's a huge influence of West Africa, of course, because we are all related. Uh -huh. We all come from Africa. We all come from this region of Africa. Yeah. And we're spread to different parts. Exactly. You know what I mean? And when you go there, you feel and you see it in the people. This cool. is Tiffany, who we're, we're about to meet. She's been doing this for the past 20 years. Yeah. Beautiful. Oh it's my god. Sort of simplified. Look at that. Yeah, what she thinks the African woman like door. I just find her things really comfortable, easy. You can wear them anywhere. Yes. And we're gonna have a treat because we're gonna meet Tiffany. Yeah. Surprise, surprise. But Ren, show us some more little your gems. A journey of discovery for you to walk through like you're walking through Africa and discovering beautiful things these I love you do these yeah, that's here a Nigerian designer and I love um, this. that's another so, southern African designer traditionally in Africa we have uh, sort of scarification uh, of the skin so he kind of like uh, has incorporated little, that yes looking at it you think it's wood this is my closet welcome to my closet I mean, the colors. I'm very proud of what's coming out of Africa. I'm so Thank proud. You. I actually got to do my limited edition book signing here. How about that? So, Renny, we're going down to meet one of the designers that you work with here um, in Lagos, Tiffany Amber, right? Yes. Look who's here. This is Roque. Roque for Tiffany Amber who well, I've been so honored to have walked at a rise fashion week in Lagos, Nigeria. We're so happy to see you. <laughs> so we just would love it if you could show us, and I will be your model, of what you could, what is your interpretation of traditional African design in today in the modern world? It's evolved a lot, and it's, um, everything is a modern adaptation of what we already have. At Tiffany Amber, we do ours with a twist. You'll feel it. 
when you um, when you try the clothes on. I love the colors that you put together. Thank you. What inspires you? Like, okay, how do you decide each collection? You know, Africa is all about vibe because there's so many different um, aspects to our culture, mm -hmm. and um, and I guess because the world has become such a global village now, I pick from different parts of the world mm -hmm. and just twist it to suit the um, African. I never ever want to move away from the African vibe. Absolutely. But this is yours. Yes. I've already put in bags on it. But this is my New Year's Eve 2021. I absolutely love it's it. It's always in white. It's gorgeous, it's fun, it's sexy, it's so great. Who do we have here? We have Mr. Jenko Telly. Yeah. So today, Tiffany and Feloke is going to show us her modern take on traditional African dress. So which outfit would you like on your dress? because it's comfy wow, it's and it's glamorous. Of course it's comfortable, but it's so cheap. What do you think of this look? Oh, the working woman, first lady look. So this is the traditional Adirat um, colors, indigo and blue, mm -hmm. and then the black and white, just, the, the, just a nice contrast. Oh. This is closet. This is a closet must. It's a staple that you can wear forever. It will never ever date. It's tradition. Yes, all, all by head. head, all artisan, all women, all women, all women. women supporting women. You like it? I love it. Okay, and now let's do a wrap up because I want to show you how you wrap, which is what. We've seen, but it's not easy to do. This may take a village. <laughs> breathing in, breathing wow. in, breathing in. So now comes the second wrapping. So I'm wrapped on my bottom half, and now I'm gonna be wrapped on my top half. Shape. Yeah. It has wire. There's wire in this, yeah, right? Yeah, this one. So the wire, which is great, because it just keeps it. You can mold it how you want. My God, I feel so well. I mean, it's just so chic out this traditional way of dressing. Wow. organza mm -hmm. and um, it's embellished with um, ostrich feathers and then we have this one so it's um, the base fabric is raw silk mm -hmm. and this is like a modern adaptation ah. of our traditional rumble bar just mm -hmm. a pair of earrings is all you need yes it really is all you need this piece is mm -hmm. they're silk satin dyed. that's like what I wore yes again and they're dyed naturally as well So this again is the base fabric is raw silk, mm -hmm. and then this pink part was strips of fabric that we stitched down individually. I am so in heaven. I got to wear this. I got to wear this. Where did you did you get into fashion? Twenty two years ago, I I actually didn't study fashion. Mm -hmm. Everything is self taught. I came back to Nigeria with a master's degree in petroleum law, and I fell in love. In petroleum. Petroleum law. Wow. <laughs> and this, I have an intense passion for what I do. You can see yeah. it. And honestly, it's just, I mean, I could play dress up with you all day. Oh, I've had such you. fun. Thank you. And I hope that everyone now understands how 
the history and the workmanship that goes into and how you can make traditional African fashion modern and accessorize and it's just it's been a great education for me today. Yeah, it's been such a pleasure seeing you in my clothes. Thank you so you. much. <laughs> Thank you, my darling. Mm. Well, it's not over yet. No. We're going to go and have something to eat. I'm stunned. Where you're going to see some traditional Nigerian dishes. Ba bam boom. Come with me. And here we are into another world. This is Nook. We're going to talk to a few friends that I want you to speak to. So come. Here with Motorayo, who is also a designer here in Lagos and has taken part in all of the fashion weeks in Lagos and has had many of her clothes in publications worldwide. I'm also sitting here with Shenny, who I call our tech king of Nigeria. <laughs> <laughs> and obviously I know you're a very big supporter of Mo yes, and what she does. Yes, and yes. that's what I love. I remember calling you from LA. And you're like, Naomi, I'm taking sabbatical time out. I'm going to focus on Mo's career yes. and what Mo's doing. We love men like this. <laughs> Mo, when did you start designing? Um, I started designing in 2013, 2014. I went back to England to do courses in um, garment construction, marketing, couture, just a bunch of things. Um, and I just started my business. I sort of learned as I went along. Shani, <laughs> yes. the world of tech. Yes. I mean, you're very famous. <laughs> I never say that word on you, but you are. I don't really believe in technology just as a thing by itself. Mm -hmm. I believe it is as something you create to foster some real world interactions and make the world a better place, right? So that's what exactly. And that's what we want to know is that it's going to make the world a better place. So the one thing, unfortunately, that I don't, I don't think we have is the right enabling environment. And I, I believe there's a, a huge gap in between the folks that are supposed to make the laws and create yes. regulation yes. and ensure they can allow people to play and innovate and invest and the people who are actually creating. And that huge gap, I think, is causing a lot of challenges. How will you describe your latest collection? What type of woman? Um, it's, it's classic MOT, right? It's um, classic pieces. They're easily, very easy to wear, yeah, like what I have on. Exactly. Beautiful. Thank you. Sister. Very vibrant colors because we think that, you know, especially for black and brown women, we look so much more amazing right, in color. Colors. So it's like, let's, you know, celebrate that. What's to come? So I for the, know there's some things <laughs> coming. Yeah, a couple of things are going on. But uh, what I spent the last few, let's say, two or three months doing was sort of giving back in a sense. What I realized was every single week I, I end up on a call with someone asking for advice on how to build great teams and great companies. Mm -hmm. And so that's something I'm really good at. Right. And so I just figured I'd, I'd help to pass on my, my knowledge to other people. Well, I could totally see everyone would need to know your expertise because so many people want to come here, but they need to come in the right way. Absolutely. It's a bright future. Absolutely, it is. Absolutely. Nigeria. Yeah. Thank you so, so it's much. Pleasure. Thank it's you our pleasure. It's our pleasure. It's our pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. So let's go eat. Now I have sweet potato and pumpkin samosa. So good. I'm so incredibly honored to have been able to spend this day in showing you African culture and absorbing the fascinating and rich culture of African style. I want to thank all the people today that has made this possible for this entire episode. Rene, Baleo, Balak, aka Tiffany Amber, Jane K. Tally, Amira Essie, and Desiree Ejo, who remotely put this all together. And Derek Batsberg, as always. My team and Mr. Deeds. And just Lagos, I love you. This has been incredible. As a woman with African origins, it's an honor to celebrate style. And I hope when you see this, that you get truly inspired and you will celebrate 
like we do. Don't forget to like this video and to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Brown girls out. <laughs> Brown girls out.